गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स और वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर इन डेयरी डेवलपमेंट इन इंडिया वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सम इंस्टीट्यूट्स ऑफ नेशनल इम्पोर्टेंस ओके इन दैट वी स्टडी एन डी डी वी दैट इज नेशनल डेयरी डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड देन एन डी आर आई दैट इज नेशनल डेयरी रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट देन मिलिट्री डेयरी फार्म एंड इंडियन डेयरी कॉरपोरेशन इन दैट we have studied their roles as well as responsibilities this institute play and the basic purpose behind the establishment of these institute so today we'll continue uh, the remaining institutes in that we'll going to study dairy cooperatives so uh, you might heard about this term cooperation and you all are familiar with this term cooperative or cooperation it means it literally means to help each other but uh, in this uh, dairy cooperatives or dairy sector so it has some broader sense so uh, it actually means or in broader sense uh, it means that uh, common action taken by many people to achieve particular goal or to perform particular task so what is meant by dairy cooperatives so it is a common action taken by many people and it is intended to ach uh, to achieve particular goal or to perform particular task so uh, this uh, dairy cooperatives they play very important role in the overall development of dairy sector in our country so uh, in uh, for up my lecture i have told you that Uh, today india is the largest producer as well as consumer of milk as well as milk products okay so this situation or this position of uh, india in overall world it is only because of the strong network of these cooperative institutions okay these cooperative institution work very uh, smoothly and they contribute lot of to the overall development of our country in this particular dairy dairy field okay so first uh, we'll see some introductory part so the concept of cooperation has been evolved from nature uh, as you know so in nature there are various things they operated under very coordinated coordinated manner and they uh, they are based on various cooperative principle even uh, in your body you can see that in your body there are different types of systems like nervous system circulatory system then respiratory system then muscular system all these system they work in a unite way or they work in a coordinated way uh, to perform normal functions of your body so nobody can think of life without cooperation okay so our life uh, cannot uh, imagine uh, without cooperation if cooperation is not not there there will be so much problematic situation so cooperation has been among the most honored values throughout the history of mankind okay so it is one of the most honored value okay and basically uh, the cooperative principles they are mostly depend upon some moral values these cooperative principles they are depend on moral values as well as some ethics okay so uh, rather it is stressed in our religious and moral system of the world so cooperation has been among the most honored values throughout the history of mankind rather stressed in all religions and moral system of the world world cooperative is common action undertaken to fulfill the interest of all individuals so in this uh, slide and couple of next slides we'll see uh, different uh, definitions of this term cooperative so uh, first what is this cooperative is a common action undertaken to fulfill the interest of all individuals so it is common action taken by all individual to fulfill a common interest okay then uh, webster universal dictionary defines cooperation as an association of a number of person for a common benefit okay so it is an 
association of number of person for common benefit while chambers concise 20th century dictionary relates it to joint action okay in uh, another international encyclopedia of social sciences the cooperation is defined as a joint or collaborative behavior which is directed towards uh, some common goal or some common interest or some hope for reward okay according to some social scientists uh, uh, like uh, fay cr it is an association for purpose of joint trading as well as originating among the weak and conducted always in an selfish spirit so what is uh, fay says it is an association for purpose of joint trading originating among the weak and conducted it it get conducted always in an unselfish spirit okay a short term share in its rewards in proportion to the degree in which they make use of their association then another social scientist curve defined cooperation as a common action on equal footing undertaken to promote legitimate interests of all concerned it could be also defined as an ethical norms or a social process uh, or an institutional structure known as cooperative so basically uh, it depends upon ethics or it is a social process and if sometimes it forms an institution that is known as cooperative the history of cooperative is very old okay in ancient times there were four cooperative institutions known as kula uh, grama uh, shrenti and jatti so the principles of cooperation or this cooperative uh, behavior is one of the so far oldest principle uh, concept in our joint family system in which all members of family live together for their betterment is a fine example of cooperative institution uh, you are all familiar with this term that is joint family okay so uh, in a previous period or previous days uh, most of the families in most of the families uh, all members they were live together uh, live together in a single home so this this was a joint family system so nowadays this joint family system was not possible due to different work areas or different professional activities but in uh, previous time or in some uh, 30 to 40 years ago this this practice was very common even in some rural areas still uh, there are some families they live together as a joint family in a such a system that is joint family system all members are insured against incompatibility illness as well as old age so all these members they work together to do uh, normal routine activities okay so they work unitedly they work together okay in modern times we find cooperatives in all fields of production processing marketing as well as distribution so the principles of cooperation as well as this cooperative strategy it is used in all fields just like production processing marketing as well as distribution like other industries as well as enterprises in this particular dairy industry also and milk business also this cooperative strategy has got uh, tremendous success and it is a very uh, effective way of increasing this business so in this milk trade too we have producer cooperative at village level processing cooperative at district level uh, known as it milk union and marketing as well as distribution cooperatives at state level known as federation so as you go from uh, rural area to higher cities or higher levels that cooperative strategies get some more broader or some more complicated but all these uh, uh, they work in very united and coordinated manner okay so need of cooperative 
सो वाई दिस कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज दे गेट इस्टेब्लिश्ड और वॉट इज द मेन मोटिव वॉट इज द नीड बिहाइंड एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ दिस कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज और कोऑपरेटिव प्रिंसिपल्स सो वेदर इट इज प्रोडक्शन और इट इज प्रोसेसिंग एज वेल एज मार्केटिंग द प्रोड्यूसर और इंडिविजुअल दे गेट एक्सप्लोटेड एट ऑल लेवल्स as the saying goes that big fish swallows the small one it is true in this agriculture field also so the traders exploit the individuals to pocket the major share of profit leaving the producer poor at lower end okay so uh, it is uh, known to all of us that there are some big money holding people who are very rich and uh, uh, they exploit Uh, some poor or needy people okay so in this particular milk business or milk industry also the business of milk production is in the hands of numerous producers belonging to all categories just like marginal a small a medium as well as large producer and the landlords cultivars uh, and agricultural labor and artisans okay so these producers individually produce a small quantity of milk okay a part of it is consumed at home and the only surplus milk is available with the producers goes for sale so if uh, suppose there is a producer and he produces a very small quantity of milk and uh, after its own consumption means uh, after uh, it, Uh, its own consumption means the overall uh, its family's demand uh, after uh, completing its family's demand the surplus milk available uh, is get sold by him okay so the quantity of product produced being very small and cannot be marketed by an individual since it requires lot of time labor and resources so though in the individual has uh, surplus milk and if it has to be sold to him then he has to uh, give his uh, so he, uh, lot of time then it, it needs labors and it needs some other resources uh, which cannot be afforded by this small producer so with the result he has to sell his uh, produce to an intermediary milk vendor so producer has to sell its uh, surplus milk or, or extra milk to other vendor the milk vendor exploit the producer by giving them very low prices then underweighing of the product and not providing any incentive so what did the vendor uh, do the vendor provides low prices okay if uh, there is a uh, market value of 50 liter 50 rupees liter uh, of milk then vendor uh, it takes uh, from the producer in only at uh, 30 to 40 rupees okay then underweighing of product underweighing of product means what the it it uh, it uh, means creates fault while weighing the product or uh, and the vendor is not going to provide any incentive as well as uh, faulty payments and lifting of milk by him as per his convenience okay and more particularly avoiding the evening procurement of milk so all these are problems associated with uh, selling of milk and procurement of milk so all these forces the producers so all these problems they forces the producers to unite together okay so all these problems they forces producers all producers of milk uh, to unite together and to produce the product not only to produce product but also process it and sell it in united way okay so these all drawbacks and exploitation by vendors uh, unite all producers of milk and uh, they not only produce their milk but they can also process that milk and sell it to unitedly the cooperatives have came into existence at consumer level as consumer cooperative societies societies uh, to get rid of exploitation from 
monopolistic producer. Okay. Similarly, the cooperative have came into existence at other levels with the uh, processing and sales uh, and marketing as well as distribution. Okay. Then what are the advantages of cooperative? So, cooperatives uh, came into existence uh, and took its root because of its inherent, inherent advantages which are mentioned under. So, first thing it, it prevents exploitation of poor. So, by uniting together the individual producer uh, it get benefited okay, and it exploitation get prevented. Okay. So, it prevents exploitation of poor. Then it promotes people initiative, mutual interest and self-help. Okay. So, uh, this cooperative uh, strategy help to initiate uh, and it get uh, develop uh, mutual interest as well as self-help. Then it ensures proper use of resources uh, just like human, material as well as finance. Okay. Then it form connecting link between producer as well as consumers. This is again main point that uh, these cooperative societies, uh, they are the main channels or they, they, they are the main link, uh, they form bridge between producer as well as consumers. Then uh, this by utilizing this principle of cooperation or cooperative strategies, uh, production get improved, then product, product, uh, productivity as well as quality also get improved. So, it improves production, productivity as well as quality. Then it provides consumer with good quality of product at a comparatively lower rate and competitive prices. So, what uh, consumers get benefited from this cooperative that it get good quality of product at comparatively lower rates and competitive prices. Since the resources are pooled, the capital and other constraints are reduced to some extent. Many programs like availability of inputs required for production process can be started at village level and can be delivered from producer to producer as per his requirement. So, these cooperative strategies uh, it get linked member of society to outside world for increasing their benefits. Okay? So, there are some principles uh, on which this cooperative uh, cooperation they are based. So, mainly it is based on some moral principle as well as some ethics. The principles of cooperative are aimed at realization of certain moral values and these are, uh, there are some both basic principles uh, of cooperation, uh, they are open and voluntary membership. Open and voluntary membership means that anyone can become a member of the society willingly. So, the membership of society should be open to anybody residing in the area according to his willingness only. For it, the criteria could be that he is willing to accept the responsibility based wood upon him. The right of membership should not be based upon any kind of religion, caste uh, as well as political affliction or other artificial distinctions. The person fulfilling the conditions should neither be denied nor compelled to take the membership under pressure either social or legal rather it implies freedom to join, continue or withdraw from society. So, uh, what is mean by open and voluntary membership that membership is uh, not forcefully done, it is, uh, it should be uh, willingly, okay, it should be done on willingly and it should not be based on any kind of religion, caste or political affliction. The next is democratic governance. So, all the members of cooperatives are the owners of the business. The first and the most basic principle of the cooperative is that all members of cooperative are they are the owners of the business and have right and responsibility to govern its affairs either in their individual capacity or throughout the leader they choose. So, in case of a business of cooperative uh, expands and diversifies all members may not get time to meet each other every day 
and to discuss the minor details of business and take decision in such cases it become practically difficult to involve all members of all time hence the members have to choose elect certain members among themselves the members will have to delegate their powers to those selected members elected members known as board of directors who take the decision at every moment concerning the business if the members of board or of directors does not have any adequate time to look after the affairs of the society the powers are delegated to central general manager subject matter specialist in the field or to subcommittees formed by the purpose so what actually this committee members do they elect uh, a body body of 10 to 12 members and in that members uh, elected body uh, there is a one person who uh, perform or who acts as a managing director and besides that uh, additional people they are helping this managing director to uh, help or uh, to help in normal functioning of this society just like uh, uh, managers are there uh, some subject matter specialists are there so overall the working of uh, this cooperative uh, society it should be in a democratic way or it should be uh, there should be democratic governance okay then limited return on equity so limited return on equity means that the cooperatives form is a human association directed towards earning profits and therefore it is economic enterprises for starting any economic enterprises capital is required definitely so if you want to start some business or some um, uh, economic enterprises uh, there is uh, funds are needed to raise the capital of funds for running the enterprises every member of society contributes its share okay so this shared capital of members of the society is known as equity so whatever uh, the member he will pay for joining this uh, society so that that payment or the, that that is share it is known as equity since the money invested as equity by the members has not been paid uh, for direct return a limited interest bonus as determined by board of directors after calculation of profit is paid to members from time to time so whatever membership or membership fees the members they will uh, invest as a part of their membership so they will get some minimum interest or some uh, bonus type amount on that invested amount okay so this this concept is known as limited return on equity then equitable distribution of surplus so since the cooperative society form is an economic enterprise running with a motto of earning profit surplus is originated okay the surplus can be used in several ways okay so so uh, these are economic enterprises okay and uh, by doing their business uh, they earn profit okay but this profit uh, is can be used by several ways okay uh, visually uh, it will form capital extra capital and by expanding the business in the same direction or starting some other business related to unrelated with his business for common benefits or enjoyment uh, and dividend to members so whatever profit uh, this society will gain or it will earn so that uh, profit will be utilized for development of or expansion of this existing business or for uh, initiating some new projects or some new uh, some new commercial firms or if it, it not done then it should be equally distributed among the members so this is uh, equitable distribution of surplus so these are basic four principles of cooperation so based on these principles the organization develops the following principles that is cooperation between cooperatives and cooperative education so these principles are of universal significance and can be applied to different types of cooperatives in different situation with considerable degree of understanding and skill so uh, it is sufficient for today 
in previous lecture uh, in sorry in next lecture we will going to study daring through cooperative uh, actually it is case study that is uh, known as anon pattern. So, in next lecture we will see in detail study of anon pattern. Thank you.